guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 9 and 10 of Girls Last Door, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. It is very... So like deja vu, babe. I hate feeling sick. Mm -hmm. Fucking allergies and everything else. Oh dang, no opening this time. That means we ain't gonna get no good ending this time, too. Shit. Damn. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. That's like a fucking maze. Mm -hmm. You come in one way and then you come out a different way. You get completely and total lost. Fucking lost. It's like going into Walmart with a certain, certain person. That one. And then I get lost. Just get to playing scenes from like previous episodes, but is that gonna mean anything with this episode? You wake up. Um. How are you gonna get? Well, no, it should be easy for you to get past it, but. Mm. Mm. <coughs> it kind of looked like that weird thing from Star Wars, even though I've never seen Star Wars before. The, the white thing, I think. Is it white or is it gray? I don't know. No, not the stormtroopers. It's something. Like, why am I thinking about it? Mm, that or that. I would have killed him. Yeah, machines can't talk. Yeah. Except you two and the man and the woman. So. Mm -hmm. Is that just a fish? <laughs> now, if a shark comes and does that. What the fuck was that? Oh. 
Okay. The only living fish left. Okay, then what about the big version of you? Is that one going to harm them? Mm -hmm. Come on, Hungry. You, no. You're going. Go eat some potatoes. Like an aquarium. Huh? Are there any other fish besides the little teeny tiny fish? Okay, no, just that one. Ah, okay. I'm just thinking it was just a regular old aquarium. Like, you know, hey, Sea World. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, yeah. No! Can I turn that off? Yeah, it is. Oh. I know, like, that's a little weird. She's swimming, and then you're cleaning. Y'all couldn't just separate. No. Oh. That is a mood. That's how I'm going to feel after I'm done watching this episode and everything. And I lay in my bed and just feel like, yeah, I don't feel good anymore. I'm just going to be like, ah. <laughs>
Maybe I'll play for Sona 5 on board. She just is, she. Yep. <laughs> See, that, that, that makes me wonder. Why the heck you? Why did you go in nude? I mean, yeah, it's a machine. It, it ain't a person, so, I mean, fuck it, but... If she wants to get in with stuff on, that's fine. If you want to be nude, you can be nude. It, it, it's fine. Come on, let go. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Kick your legs, damn it. Oh, God. That reminds me when my mom threw me in the pool and she was like, hey, she either going to sink or swim. And I swam. She did. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, now see, now I'm getting casual feels. Remember when she got knocked off by that one girl and she was just looking like, oh my god, people with butts are amazing! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That was really pretty. Why did you just run that? I mean, you want to overfeed him? And watch, you is going to pour that whole damn can. Mm -hmm. No, let the damn fish stay there. Is that another one? Um, she wake up. It's the, um, the bigger one.
Um, he might kill the fish. He's not going to hurt him, is he? Okay, thank God. Of course. You're gonna try to save the fish. I mean, unless you have like a bowl or a jar to put the fish in and save it. There's nothing you can really do for it. Well, of course, because they're human and you're a robot. If you go in the water, you'll just die. Probably. You know, don't say that. I mean, come on, that's like a death flag, honey bunny. I don't think you're gonna die, but... Mm -mm. Like, if you would have told me in the episode where they ate that fish that several episodes later, you would feel sympathy for a fish and wanting to save this fish, I probably would have looked at you like you were crazy. Because this girl like fish. She hungry all the damn time. Well, yeah, at least she saved it. Mm -hmm.
I gotta say, this is a really interesting episode. Probably my third or fourth favorite. Unfortunately, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to eat them anymore? Good. Just thank God. Yeah, I still have to say, that was, like, the most interesting episode out of most of them. I would say, like I said, it would be my third or fourth favorite. It was just, it was different. Most of the episodes that we've seen in the past have been, you know, a little more upbeat, um, somewhat sad. But to go, like, this route was interesting. That's all I really got to say. My head is killing me. and I'm trying to, like, not show it, but it's just, ugh. For you to fill those emotions for the fish. I mean, at first she just really wanted to eat it. I mean, of course, because come on, it's a damn fish. You know, <laughs> you're supposed to eat it. But eventually she just felt like I need to save it. And I think it's sweet. I mean, it's just like, oh God, what can I think about right now to compare it to? Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's. People who like to protect animals. That mean it means could be like um, dogs, cats, whales. I've seen a lot of things about people wanting to see whales and stuff, especially like in between Japan and then a little bit of um, China. I believe I don't remember. It was like some, I was watching something um, a couple of weeks ago when I watched it, and I was like, it was really interesting. But yeah, I mean, th this girl like anytime could have ate that damn fish but like no matter what the freaking machine bless she kept on her no don't eat it and yeah it, it was still it had some weird moments in it but it was a very interesting episode i mean it makes you wonder and i think i've probably said this again maybe if i have time to read the manga like especially what happened with him and the fish what happened with what's her face and then the other guy and then you know eventually everything else because i know a lot of people said that the manga is currently over i think i kind of need to go look again stupid keyboard thing um but yeah 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 that's all i really have to say i don't think i have anything else to say about that episode but it was good really really good just more calming episode 10. One other thing I do want to say is, especially when the machines were looking at both of them and they would kept, kept showing like the scenes from certain episodes, like were they looking through their memories in a way? Oh. Seriously? And it's going to stop too? Well, um, okay. 
I, I, I just never would have thought that a subway would work. I mean, but then you got to think of the previous episode. Like, most of these things that don't work, you you, uh, you never would have thought that would work, are still currently working. That's okay. Okay. I want to sleep so bad. <sighs> I really hate being sick. Just you know when all your energy is just like when you're at, like on the on top and you can you feel like you can do everything and then just your energy just slowly dies. But then when you wake up and you feel like shit and you don't want to do shit, that's me right now. I like honestly. Ugh. That doesn't even look like a freaking train, but it's so weird. What's up? But it is a train. Who knows how long it'll be traveling for? Well, yeah, what else are you supposed to do? Which was? Well, yes, honey. And the thing is, we don't even feel it right there. Is it another one of those things? There's not like a whole bunch. So maybe like this was where they were all made on the train or just not, but not made, like kept just in case. Kind of looks like a clock. Yeah. And there are kids in the world who can't read a goddamn analog clock.
Yeah, that's completely different, you. Mm hmm But I'll tell you. To know if they were late. Mm hmm You either had a phone, a watch, um, anything to tell time. I mean, because, like, with this, like, we know what year they're in, but, like, they don't even know, like, exactly what time it is. The only way that we know what time it is is when they go outside. And so, when we know it's, like, maybe early in the morning, it's daytime. If it's, like, 12 or, like, 9 o'clock, it's the dead-ass night. Uh, of course not. Yeah, to the unknown. Where the heck are y'all going? I don't even know. I'm guessing they've been sent. I can't go no further. Yeah. So now it's going to go all the way back. Wavelength. Probably for hours. Yeah, you're probably on the other side of town now. Was it the radio? <laughs> yeah, the radio. Yeah, we know. Like music. Mm-hmm. Or an AI. Yeah, but the weird thing is there's no batteries in it, so how the hell did it do it? Mm, kind of, you know, happy, angry, other emotions. It depends on what song you're listening to. Unless you're listening to the goddamn freaking 
that damn song. The fucking Billy Ray Cyrus and that one dude song. I hate that song. Somebody in my neighborhood was playing that song. I was just like. Yeah, honestly, it, it would be nice to see the sunlight instead of always being in darkness. Honestly, I'm just saying, darkness is nice, but you know, you, you just want to see the nice warm sun. Yeah, question is, how are you going to get up to the surface, though? Which way is up? There we go. Well, yeah, aren't you going a little too Thank you. <laughs> See, the way that, yeah, uh, slow it down. What do you mean you don't know? Huh. Uh. But it works though. A lot more. Yeah, she's fine. You are you okay? Maybe if you move the dial, you might get different music. It's pretty. Oh, but how do we? Was she combing her hair with like a comb or that? Because that kind of looked like a knife. Yeah. Yeah, that's the no, that's a comb. All right, no, that looks more like a brush.
I can select them. It makes me wonder, like, once they get down there, like, maybe, like, a memory might trigger something. What's up? Oh, a tank! <laughs> really? You just got your hair brushed and you're just gonna go ahead and wet it all over again. Uh, no, I was cutting her hair, so it wasn't I. <laughs> of course, we, we know you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. At that time, but not anymore. <laughs> no, <it's> silly. <laughs> What's up? Is it a snake? Oh! Well, it was living, but it wasn't a fish. How are you going to get it out, though? Oh, God. Uh, okay. Woo! Uh, Well, yeah, but what is it exactly? What are you? That's a cat? You can't eat it, idiot! No, put the cat... Yeah. Uh. Cut. I, I don't know. No. Uh. No. At least take it with you. Don't leave it there. wants to go with you. <laughs> See? It's taking a liking to you. Yes. <laughs> Take it. Come on. No. I'm going to take it with you. Ah. 
You hold on to it. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> so we're we're considering this thing a cat. <laughs> okay, I, I mean I'll consider it a cat too myself because I literally thought it was a freaking snake because the way it looked and the way it shaped. <laughs> It felt like a damn snake, but it's cute. I mean, to think that, like, it could, I would consider it an animal, something like that, besides the damn fish, would survive, like, what, what the hell are they going to do with this damn thing for? We only got two episodes left. I should be done with this show probably maybe tomorrow or even Thursday. I don't know. But... <laughs> I figured the thing was going to fall because, like, you know, it's typical with animals. Like, once you play with it for a couple of minutes, like, they're going to take a liking to you. And then eventually they're just going to be like, let me follow you everywhere. Especially freaking Cody. Because Cody likes to follow my ass everywhere, even though that's my dog. And, mm. I, I mean, it's cute. I hope that thing is not afraid of everything like a certain dog right here, because that dog is afraid of fucking everything, but, yeah. Having both Chi and the thing sing at the same time, like... <laughs> glad that they have a pet, but, like, if they're running out of food, which it kind of looks like they are, how are they going to figure out, like, who's gonna get food? I mean, I'm not saying, okay, let's go all the way back to the factory where you made the food and, like, try to make more because who knows how much stuff is left there. There could be nothing there anymore. Uh, and just, all you can really do is just keep traveling and hopefully that you can find an area that has food. You have water now, which is good. That thing is gonna need water because, you know, I'm guessing not only humans, but also animals can go a while with just having water, but they're still, you're still gonna need food. But, I, I mean, you know, but hey, you, you, the good thing is you got another traveling companion. That is the best thing ever, but what the freak is gonna happen now? Like, with these last two episodes, I'm really expecting, like, how they're going to wrap it up, number one, if they're ever going to do, like, another moment, because I really thought with episode nine, when she was falling down deep, deep, deep into the water and stuff, that she would have had, like, a memory of what happened so many years ago, but no, that didn't happen, so maybe something might trigger a memory again in 11 and 12. I don't know. I mean... The last two episodes of the show could end anyway, any freaking way. And I just, like, I, I feel like it is going to give it a happy ending. I don't know if it's going to wrap it up, like, in a nice, neat bow. Like, I feel like maybe 50 out of 50. Um, I might have questions that I'll never get answered unless I read the manga. Like, just how with um, any other personal series that I've read or I've watched and, like, if I've had a question about, well, what about this? Like, you've never answered this, you never answered that, or whatever. Um, we'll never know. That's like fucking Saga and Tanya Evil, because I had so many fucking questions about that. Same thing with My Hero Academia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, both episodes are really good. Really, really good. It's just... What the fuck is that thing? Like, you can't tell me. Like, that is not what a cat looks like. I mean... They, what the hell are they gonna name it? Are they gonna give it a name? Like, they, they honestly need to. It would be smart 
to give the dang thing, the wormy looking thing, whatever it is, a name. It needs a freaking name. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to your episodes 9 and 10 of Girls Last Tour. If you guys enjoyed uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all officially next time for the finale of the show. And hopefully, this show with these last two damn episodes does not screw me over. Because really, I don't like it when shows like... They do so well in the beginning, and then by the time we get to the last two fucking episodes, I've had shows in the past that have always fucked me over. And then I'm just like, it was good until like the last two damn episodes, but I don't think it's going to be like that. I think it's just going to answer everything that I still have questions on. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!